see through the mountains when, you know, the COVID uh, announcement came over that the country was shutting down. And we were in the mountains at that time. So, you know, there was like, it would kind of in and out. Like we were listening to Trudeau's announcement. It was like, oh, there's going to be a world shutting down. So it really felt like super post-apocalyptic. So then when we got the news that we were going to shoot this, it uh, it was like, how are we going to make this all work? It got to the point in planning where we had planned for seemingly every possibility, every contingency, every outcome that may be presented to us. Uh, and and And... It became exciting when we knew we were going to finally get on the floor and make the show. Any given day on set is more similar than I thought it would be to before, uh, but there are some big differences. You'll see new members of the crew who are part of uh, a team of people responsible for making sure that everyone's wearing their PPE properly, following the guidelines and protocols uh, that are part of the show's uh, operations and making sure that everything, uh, when it comes to high-touch areas, are cleaned and sanitized on a regular basis. I mean, let's just start at the beginning of my day. So, I, an hour before work, I go on my internet and I fill out my little questionnaire, my COVID questionnaire, which basically runs over, do you have any symptoms? And I have no symptoms, I get a pass. So that's, that's at the beginning of my day. If you pass the screener, then you go to work, where we have our check-in set up, and then they show their screener, their temperature gets taken, and then they get a wristband for that day. And the reason why it's important that we're doing that is so that everyone on set knows if you have a wristband, you've been checked in, you're all, you're all good. We also put together an information video um, because we wanted to make sure that when we got on set, everyone was on the same page and they knew what the expectations were. The challenges at work are, feel actually lessened than the challenges in life. Um, here, it feels very straightforward. We have you know, clear protocols. We have a plan of what to do. On a day-to-day -day basis, I think the most challenging thing we've been up against is testing and how to manage the testing of people who come from away to work on the show, new people who are going to perform with our actors, and uh, facing the challenging um, turnaround time for testing versus our stringent and um, fast-moving schedule. There's a lot of thought and planning that goes into everything, and it's not necessarily, you know, the thought and planning for lighting or, um, you know, characters that. It's more so, okay, we have this scene um, where are areas where people are touching multiple objects, right? High touch. Um, we're also looking at, you know, spacing. Um, this is a scene for, um, you know, 20 background actors. Is there a way we can be creative and cut down that number so we're not having so many people on set. It's just getting into the practice of keeping everybody safe is the main thing, the protocols, right? It's uh, now I have to remember that I have to wash my hands, then take the mask, then wash my hands again, and do that process between each and every shot. I think COVID has disrupted so many people's sense of normal. It's disrupted day-to-day -day life so fundamentally that the best thing about this is we get to come to set and work and it's some sort of normalcy where you know we're, we're here working in a fairly normal capacity even though there are these different measures that we're taking and some things have changed set still feels like set and it's still fun so much of what's going on around set as it pertains to covid and and ppe and, and safety in that regard extends way past me. Really everything, you know, up to this point is going as smooth as as it has been because the crew have really like have come together and everyone supports one another and at the end of the day everyone has the same purpose and that is to make the show as you know, safe as possible, and to ensure that future shows happen. And to not forget to, to still have fun. Because it is fun. It's exciting. Being on set is exciting. I, I think it's important to, uh, in particular, recognize the cast for their willingness to 
put themselves in the vulnerable place of not having PPE on and performing for the cameras. And even though we take every measure possible to ensure their safety, they're still taking that extra risk. They're still putting themselves out there to make the show. And they should be recognized for that. We have the best cast in show business already. Uh, they've just shown me somehow that they can even rise above what they've already done over three seasons of the show. And this year, you know, they've, they've reached the, the ultimate uh, height in professionalism and character. I think that this is a, it's really wonderful to watch a team work together. Film crews and sets are places where we're constantly working together. And pre-COVID, it was like this too. There's a kind of a dance between everybody. Everyone ha plays a role and plays a part. And, and so everyone's really game to maintain that. And people want to work. I think having a job is a wonderful thing right now and not everybody has that opportunity. So everyone wants to do the best job that they can do and make sure that they keep themselves and their family safe and the other people on set and their family safe. And these inconveniences are just that, inconveniences. You know, it's just about responsibility, I think. Uh, having a responsibility to your fellow actor, fellow crew member, um, because I think sometimes in our society, we have a tendency to be individuals, you know? Um, but this virus uh, doesn't care about that. Uh, we need to be a community. Seeing everybody come together really uh, just gives me pride um, and hope for the future that we can keep telling stories. We need to tell stories. I need to tell stories. That's it's, it's what keeps me going, you know? So. Um, if we gotta put some masks on and put some sanitizer on to make sure that we're all protected and you know, able to continue what we're doing, then, then we gotta do it. It feels great to be somewhere, you know, coming somewhere every day that has a certain sense of stability and continuity. And we have world-class crews in Manitoba to start with, but I think what this pandemic has shown me is that they're not only world-class uh, technicians and talents, but they're world-class professionals. And that professionalism shows through every day uh, when they come in here, work harder than ever to get a day that is harder than ever to get uh, while doing it safely and buying into the idea that this burden family that we're all a part of here on set uh, is, is frankly an extension of our own families at home. And in order to keep them safe, we have to take care of each other here on set and keep each other here on set safe. So that philosophy seems to be working well. Um, it's built into the DNA of the Burden family, and that extends uh, for people all the way home. I think that there is uh, a feeling from everyone that we're doing this right. This is frankly about the safest place you could be, and uh, that going home to your families at night is something you don't worry too much about because you know you're doing it right here and that your co-workers and friends here on set are doing it right too. If there's any team that I would do this with uh, on the earth, it would be this team. It's the family that we've built over the four years, the trust that we've built over the four years. Uh, that, that, you know, that took away my fears. Like, I, I was like, no, well, I know the, the guys will figure it out. Uh, so that when we arrived at set, it was completely, completely safe set. They knew that we could do it with this group.